Have you guys heard the term kinetic chain before? Yeah, no? It's kinetic means movement. Um, so just, you may have heard that more of like a, um, a science-based term. Um, and chain is a connected flexible series of links. So you put that together and it's a linked system that promotes movement in your body. It's really pretty simple. So now the next time you hear the word kinetic chain, it just means movement, everything's connected. You guys wouldn't mind standing up, making sure you have space around you around yourselves. I want you to take your feet, imagine they're in ski boots, so they're pointing straight ahead. You wanna go down the mountain straight, right? You don't wanna end up making pizza, right? Toes pointing straight ahead, even pressure on both feet. Take your right hand out in front of you and turn to your right as far as you can with both eyes open, mark the spot on the wall or door or wherever. Take a look at it and memorize that spot. Come back to the center. All right, take your left foot and I'm gonna teach you another science word. We're gonna supinate our left foot. So you may have heard the word pronate. A lot of people, shoe salesmen use the word pronate sometimes. That means that your arches collapse and they fall in. We're going to do the opposite. So you're going to take your left foot. Here, let me come out here so you guys can see. You're going to take your left foot, and you're going to supinate. You're going to turn it out slightly. All right, take your right hand and do the exact same thing. See how far you can turn relative to where you could before. <coughs> Is it less or more? Uh, less. Less. If you have something going on, usually with a knee, maybe it'll travel up to the hip, maybe it'll travel down to the ankle, maybe it'll travel up to the shoulders. Probably all of the above in some way or another. So oftentimes where you feel the pain or where you've had an injury, or maybe it's not even anything you notice. Maybe you just have, maybe you just have, I don't know, tight quads or tight hamstrings or tight hip flexors or something. That might be where you're feeling some pain. It might not necessarily be the cause. So I want to make sure that we're working on the root cause of the problem. We're not right. So my body's trying to figure out, okay, some of my weight's going back. I better put some of my weight forward because we need to make sure we're not gonna fall forward or backward, right? And so naturally, when this happens, my shoulders will roll forward, just kind of following suit, right? And now my head is forward because my shoulders are forward. Now I'm trying to look up, and that's a little strain on my neck. So again, it might be a little, a lot more subtle than what I just demonstrated, but our body's not just gonna fall over. We're gonna figure out a way to kind of balance ourselves. So the equation for good balance is center of gravity over a base of support. If your center of gravity is over your base of support, that's considered good balance. As soon as you challenge that, your base of support gets forward, or your limit of stability goes left or right or backwards, you compensate so you don't fall over. Or you see it on the golf course too sometimes. If people you know, have that too far forward, they'll hit the ball and they'll do this. That was a great shot, but I almost fell over. <laughs> who've had knee pain, and their, their prim, primary doctor wants to send them to a knee orthopedist, but they decide to go therapy route first, and we found that they were lost their arch, and they were pronated, so they were putting a lot of stress on it. You put a longitudinal arch support or some sort of support orthotic in their shoe, their knee pain goes away. They don't need surgery. They just needed to be realigned. So. <laughs> My fitness challenge for you guys is to analyze your own body. Are you experiencing chronic pain? Um, actually, like if you've ever, if you've never done it before, just lay down on the floor and think about your body. Just think about everything. If you can feel the pain, then you can do something about it. But if you're just ignoring it, then you can't never do anything about it. So just lay there and just think about it. Do I feel any discomfort? And then we get to the why part. But first, you have to recognize it. Um, I recognize it. <laughs> <laughs>